Arkham Asylum inmates, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, Harley Quinn and King Shark are freed from captivity by Argus director Amanda Waller and forced to join her Task Force X, the Suicide Squad. After miniature bombs are injected into their heads, Waller sends the squad into Metropolis, which is currently under attack by Brainiac. When they raid the Hall of Justice, a brainwashed Green Lantern attacks the squad and explains that Brainiac's attack is the beginning of his plans to terraform Earth. The Flash intervenes to rescue the squad but is gravely wounded and captured by a brainwashed Batman when Boomerang pulls him out of hiding. The squad retreats to the Hall of Justice and encounters Wonder Woman, the only member of the Justice League who is not brainwashed. She refuses to work with them just as Waller orders the squad to kill the Justice League and end their threat once and for all. Waller has the squad scour Metropolis for weapons and technology that can be used against the Justice League as well as forcibly recruiting other villains into their ranks. They attempt to apprehend Lex Luthor to obtain his knowledge. He is killed by a now brainwashed Flash. The squad narrowly escapes due to Wonder Woman's interference. She uses her lasso on the Flash to find a way to stop Brainiac, with him replying that the only way is to kill her friends. The squad is supplied with anti-speed force tech, which they use to kill the Flash. Green Lantern arrives and forces the squad to flee through one of Brainiac's portals. The squad finds themselves transported to Earth 2, an alternate Earth that has already been destroyed by Brainiac. They also meet an alternate version of Lex Luthor, who reveals to them that they have been collaborating with Earth 1's version in order to prepare for Brainiac's invasion. Luthor transports the squad back to their dimension and warns them that Waller will get them killed just like Earth 2 Waller did to their squad. The squad breaks into Wayne Enterprise's secret bank vault where they find Wonder Woman crafting a kryptonite based shield. After she leaves, Luthor 2 secures Yellow Lantern's batteries Batman was keeping as a contingency against Green Lantern and gives them to the squad. He also reveals that Waller has no intention of granting the squad their freedom, either letting them get killed or using Brainiac's mind control technology on them otherwise. The squad then confront and kill Green Lantern, temporarily disabling a shield protecting Brainiac's ship. Waller attempts to call a nuclear strike on Brainiac, willing to sacrifice the squad, but a brainwashed Superman thwarts her plan. Wonder Woman and Superman begin battling each other, as the squad attempts to escort Waller to safety inside the Hall of Justice. Wonder Woman stabs Superman with a shard of kryptonite, but he survives and kills her before retreating to Brainiac's ship. Earth 2 Luther theorises that Brainiac changed Superman's DNA to be more resistant to kryptonite and suggests capturing Batman so they can devise a countermeasure. The squad capture Batman in his hideout and take him to Luthor 2, who develops a gold kryptonite to combat Superman. With no further use for Batman, Harley shoots him dead. Superman is lured out and subsequently killed with the gold kryptonite weapons. However, Brainiac captures them and intends to brainwash the squad into his minions. Luthor 2 rescues them and reveals that he has learned that there are 13 different Brainiacs spread across the multiverse that are all planning to take it over. Waller and Luthor 2 coordinate to teleport the squad to Brainiac's location to confront him directly. After a long battle, the squad subdue and capture Brainiac, allowing Luthor 2 to extract the information from his brain. The extraction ends up killing Brainiac and thwarts the invasion. The squad then prepare to hunt down the, the remaining 12 Brainiacs across the multiverse. 